so this is uh, another topic of limit at infinity like limit x goes to infinity we this topic is related to find the horizontal horizontal sm totes so in case of finding horizontal sm totes if it is a polynomial like x goes to infinity x raised to power p then it will be infinity and likewise as we did before if it is 1 by x raised to power p then it will approach towards 0 so like here you can see as x approaching to 0 1 over x p will approach to 0 uh, sorry if x is approaching to infinity 1 over x raised to power p will approach to 0 and uh, likewise here you can see x is in the denominator and it is approaching towards infinity so it is zero and if it is in numerator then it will be infinity and here it is also infinity so uh, here this is just a simple explanation you can go over it and we jump to horizontal asymptotes so when you substitute your limit at infinity in rational function whatever you get for example y equals to b that would be your horizontal asymptotes or normally we denote function by f of x so if it is b that is your horizontal asymptotes and we denote horizontal asymptotes like y equals to b and if it is like this then it is y equals to minus b so here you can see if y equals to 1 we get this horizontal asymptotes it would be like this and if y equals to minus 1 then this would be our horizontal asymptote so there are some formulas to find out horizontal asymptotes directly look at this general rational form uh, we see the maximum power of x in our nominator function and we see the maximum power of x in our denominator function so maximum power of x is m in our nominator function and we see the maximum power of x in denominator is n and we take care of their constants as well so a m over b m or their constants or coefficient of x is in nominator and denominator okay then we look at the behavior of m and n this m and n look at point one if m is less than n then we say that horizontal asymptote is at x equal or at y equals to zero like this is our horizontal asymptote y equals to zero or f of x equals to zero now look at this second point if m equals to n if m equals to n in that case the horizontal asymptotes will be the coefficients of x is in nominator and denominator like here the coefficient of x is a m and coefficient of x n is b n so the horizontal asymptote will be a m over b m and the third case if m is greater than n in that case horizontal asymptote will does not exist that would be undefined okay so here we solve one example y equals to 3x square minus 5x plus 9 over 2x square plus 7 so what is maximum power of x in nominator that is our m which is 2 and the maximum power of x in denominator that is also 2 so n is 2 that is our second case where we were saying that if m equals to n then horizontal asymptote is the coefficient of x is in nominator and denominator here the coefficient of x square is 3 over the coefficient of x square is 2 so 1.5 is our horizontal asymptote and here you can see you can draw our horizontal asymptote y equals to 1.5 we solve some more examples like 
here you can see if you look at this example what is maximum power of x in nominator that is m equals to 4 and maximum power of x in denominator that is n equals to 6 so in that case you can see that uh, m is less than n that is our first case so in that case horizontal asymptote is 0 and if you look at this example m is 5 and n is 3 m is greater than n so in that case horizontal asymptote is infinity undefined so this is how we find horizontal asymptotes and you can draw this for example if i draw this asymptote y equals to 0 so that is our this line and y is undefined so we cannot draw undefined so this is how we find horizontal asymptote so that was the second part of your second lecture